Have you been struggling on how to solve linear programming paper one questions? Then this video is for you. So we have this question here. Write three inequalities that define the unshaded region R in the diagram below. Okay, so this is a region that you are asked to find the three inequalities for. Okay, so before we proceed and find the inequalities that are defining the region R, uh, there are a few things that you're supposed to know. Number one, when you have a dotted line, you need to know the meaning of a dotted line. So a dotted line, if you have a line like this, uh, this line will mean greater than or less than. You need to know that your inequality, whenever you have a line, a dotted line like this, it means that your inequality will have either a, a greater than or less than symbol. Number two, uh, when you have a full line, a full line like this, it means your inequality is going to have a greater or equal to symbol or a less or equal to. Okay, with that in mind, we can go ahead and find the inequalities that are defining the region R. Okay, so the first thing that you're supposed to do is to look for a line that has the easiest equation. Okay, so in this case, when you have this, the line that is crossing uh, both the x and y axis, for example, this one, it will require you to use some formulas. Even this one, you can see it's crossing the y axis and also the a, the x axis. So even this one will require a formula. But when you look at this one, it's only crossing uh, one axis, which is the y axis alone. So where it's crossing here, the equation is y is equal to 1. It's crossing at 1. Okay, you can see that it's crossing at 1. So the equation is y is equal to 1. But now, what about the inequality? You can see that this is a full line. Okay, so we said here that when you have a full line, it's either your inequality to have a greater than or equal to symbol or less than or equal to symbol, depending on which part is shaded. Okay, so uh, you can see that this line is a full line. Uh, so the part that has been shaded is called the unwanted region. We don't need this part. So meaning we need this part. So we are going to write the, equation, the inequality uh, describing the, this part. Okay, so this part is the greater than or equal to 1. So it's y is equal to greater or equal to 1 because this is a full line and the unwanted region is down here. Okay, so now with that in mind, we can now find the inequalities for these two lines. So let's find the inequality for this line. Uh, so the first thing you're supposed to do here is to collect the coordinates. So here and here we've already been given, as long as the coordinates are lying along this line. So the coordinates here um, are 0, 0,6. So let's collect the coordinates here, here, 0, 0,6. Then we are going to use these coordinates that we've been given here, 5,1. Okay. So we're going to use these coordinates to find the gradient. And then we are going to use the gradient to come up with an equation then after an equation, an in inequality. So um, you can call this as x1, then x, I mean y1, then x2, then y2. Okay, so the gradient is given by the formula m is equal to, m is the gradient, uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so y2 is 1, so we have 1 minus y1 is 6, so 1 minus 6 over uh, x2 is 5, so we have 5 minus uh, x1 is 0. Then 1 minus 5, 1 minus 6 is negative 5, 5 minus 0 is 5, then we are having 
the gradient as negative 1. So, okay, so we're going to use the formula for us to find the equation. So we're going to use the formula y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so m, we're going to put the gradient and then the y coordinate we're going to pick. So make sure that you pick the point which has a zero so that you easily work out. Okay, so we are going to pick point one which has a zero. So y, the y value there is six, the y coordinate is six. Then m, which is a gradient, is negative one times um, what is the x value here? x coordinate is zero, then plus c. Okay. Uh, so you have 6 is equal to this becomes a 0 plus C. So we are going to see that C is equal to C is equal to 6. So now with that in mind, we are now going to use this formula again to, to write the equation. So we are going to say Y is equal to M is the gradient. So we are going to have negative 1 times x will be just x plus 6, which is a c. So this is the, the equation, the equation uh, for this line. So the equation for this line we found that is y is equal to negative x plus 6. Now, look at it, the nature of the line. Is it dotted? or it's a full line so since this is a full it's since this is a full line and the unwanted part is the greater part which means we are going to have the inequality as y is less or equal to because it's it's a full line and this is the unwanted part uh, and r is on the wanted part so we're going to say y less is less or equal to negative x plus six so this is the inequality that was required here. Now, let's look at this line here. We have, so again, the same process that we used to find the inequality for this line is the same one that we're going to use for this. Okay, so let's collect the points again. Here, this line is crossing here, and you can see that this is a zero. It's crossing on the ori origin, this which is uh, 0, 0. And then where else we have these points is crossing here 2,4, 2,4. Then we need to find the gradient again. So we have m is equal to, so we can say first, x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So m is equal to y2 minus uh, y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. Then we proceed and say y2 is 4, so we have 4 minus y1 is 0, so we have 0 over uh, x2 is 2, so we have 2 minus 0, which is that. Then you have 4 over 2, which gives 2 as a gradient. So we also do the same, what we did earlier. We are going to use the formula y is equal to mx plus c. So our m here is to find the value of c so that we use it to find the gradient. So we are going to say uh, the value of y, we can pick this, the ones that have zeros for easy working out. So let's put zero here where there's y, y1 is zero is equal to gradient is two times x is zero plus c. So you are going to see that you are going, you have 0 is equal to, this becomes a 0 C. So C is equal to 0. C is equal to 0. Now, we can now come back to this equa uh, formula, this equation. So we have Y is equal to MX plus C. Now, we are going to replace. So we have Y is equal to, the gradient is Z. We found the gradient as 2. So we have 2 X C, we found that it's, it's 0. So meaning the equation is y is equal to 2x because the 0 doesn't count. So meaning this line here, this line here has the equation y is equal to 2x. Now, what about the inequality? 
Number one, what is the nature of this line? The nature of this line is a dotted line, so meaning uh, the inequality will either have this or that. Now, the unwanted part is the less part. This is the less part. So, but R is in the greater part. So, we are going to say now the inequality is Y is greater than, just greater than because it's a dotted line, to X. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing for more math lessons. And also, if you haven't watched the video on how to evaluate uh, definite integrals, uh, you can just click the video that is showing on the screen right now. Thank you.